Hello all. Today I'm going to show how to use AWS Code Commit. And now is 2022 interface is quite new for me. So firstly, let's go to AWS Code Commit right here. And what is a AWS Code Commit? It is a way to create and use a Git repositories. And one of advantages that is uh, your repo will be uh, secured and it is your private repo instead of uh, GitHub that uh, uh, contains your repositories in uh, somewhere else cloud. So now we are on the empty repo and uh, I will demonstrate how to implement all steps to create the repo. So let's create it by uh, creating repository and defining a repository name and uh, description, let it be like uh, my application test for code committing in AWS code uh, yeah, commit. And yeah, it is, let's say, YouTube tutorial. Okay, I'm creating a new repository by clicking create Okay, and now we have uh, two types of connectivity. The one is HTTPS and SSH. It is not recommended to use SSH as you are on the root account. You can read more right here in this section. So in this example, I will use HTTPS connectivity in this example. So now it's a more good moment to create a special user to connect to our Git repo. So um, when we go to IAM and then we need to create a user to be able to connect to AWS code commit. So click on the user and uh, we're adding a user. Let's say it will be uh, my name. It's a Wittletus. We are providing accesses, prog programmatic access to the console and the password uh, let it be generated automatically. Okay, everything looks fine. So we can to go to permissions and in permissions, we are need to provide uh, administration access to AWS code commit. For this, we are creating a group and in this group, we are providing uh, administration access right here. So press here and uh, group name, let, let it be IAM group and code um, not deploy code depl yeah okay code deploy and we are creating a group and next step in here yeah we are now having this group so tag is nothing in here and, and in the review is everything looks fine so we are creating a user okay the user has been created successfully so we can to save our access key ID and secret access ID in CSC file. You can save it in your safe location in your local machine. So I'm using in my uh, notes right here. It doesn't matter right now. So next step is to uh, set up repository. So this is my user. Okay. So again, go right here into my user. One more thing in here, it is security credentials. In security credentials, as you can see, you can to check your access key ID, some details. And again, um, yeah, if you go a little bit down, as you can see, SS key keys for AWS code commit, it is right here. And HTTPS git credentials for AWS code commit. In this section, I need to generate credentials that I will use for connect from my local terminal to AWS code commit repository. So I'm generating these credentials and saving these uh, credentials, I mean username and password somewhere in my notes. Okay, just going here. Okay, I have been saved my credentials somewhere in my machine. So I can to close this windows and uh, go next. So just closing. Okay, and now I think we have all required information to access our code commit repository. So we can to come back to AWS code commit right here. 
and uh, yeah we are on repository repository name my app and it's still empty it's still empty so we need to push somewhere we need to commit some files and push it into our empty repository for this we need to do some steps right here okay so we need to, first of all to clone this empty repository to our local machine so we do like this we have copied this uh, url address it is uh, addressed to our repository in aws code commit so open your terminal yes this is my terminal and in terminal let's check that you are on your uh, location where you access your files and then you can to clone the empty repository it is a git clone and the address to your repository okay it's cloning it take a few seconds and here you need to define a username that you have been saved in your notes it is username not for your user but for your uh, git repo and the password uh, as well okay so it seems that everything is fine in the login to the git repo and we have just uh, created an empty repository we have cloned to our local machine so that we expect it to uh, see it is my app beside my code and what we need to do right now is to put some files to my app repository from our project so we can do like this i will do it very simple so this is my project um my code so i just copy and paste everything to my app and my app is my uh, repository so I'm pasting everything in here and then I have added uh, additional files to my repo and what I can to do I go in my terminal to this repo yeah this is my app okay and in in this uh, my app folder we have uh, three files it's one two three and it says two python scripts and one txt file for requirements so what we need to do right now we need to push these files into our uh, repository in aws and how we can to do it first of all we need to check the status you see the red lines means that these files are new and they are untracked first of all we need to track these files before pushing it to repo so we can add a single separate file by git add and the file name for example git add requirement.txt or we can add everything what we see right here it is git add and dot so we have added all the files from this location and now we can again git status and you see each file is in green that means that each file is being tracked by our git system looking fine we are clearing the screen so we need to commit our files that we have added to tracking so my first commit on aws code commit okay we see all three files it's in great mode it is looking fine and uh, we have just inserted uh, three files into our uh, tracking system but as you can see our repository if i refre refresh it is still empty and what does it mean this means that we are just uh, inserted our files into committing into tracking system we need to push it so git push and then you can see uh, this message that means that our uh, push procedure is successful to our git repo into master branch so we need to refresh it okay i'm refreshing my repo as you can see all my three files is here on the master branch that i am expecting to see if you go to any of the of your files it's looking good it's a requirement.txt and here is uh, number one prepare data.pi is looking nice it's a python script all the syntax is highlighted it's looking uh, as expected and uh, one more thing is uh, what i want to demonstrate what 
if you make any changes in your code. For example, I need to add something in my requirement.txt file. For example, in my development, I will use more uh, libraries for my project. And for example, if what if I add um, another library, for example, OpenXLS, and uh, I will add this line to my requirements file, save it, and what I need to do, I need to commit this file again. So git status, I see that this file the requirement.txt has a new updated and then I need to add it to, to uh, tracking. So again, git, yeah, git commit and then I can write that I just modified a requirement.txt file, okay? Yeah, looking good. And then you see one file is changed. I need to, uh, this file to be pushed to my repository. Git push, okay. I, I'm refreshing my uh, AWS uh, uh, code commit. As you can see requirements.txt file now uh, contains open XLS what I inserted just before. And in commit section, you can see uh, two commits it is the uh, first one and the last one. If you go to the last one, right here, okay, you can see in the green line what the changes was uh, done. It's a green line, it means that I have inserted a new line. And that's all what I want to demonstrate in this tutorial. I hope uh, that it was useful. Uh, maybe if you use uh, AWS, it's a good reminder what is AWS code commit. And that's all from my side today, so see you on the next video and never stop learning.